Doc UK uh, video footage. Uh, this educational video. Uh, this time is going to be going through the diagnostic equipment that we use uh, to diagnose faults on vehicles. Uh, we've got an X431, a launch X431, quite an expensive piece of kit. Uh, we're going to show you how uh, we use that to do a, a general scan of the car and pull out some um, codes, error codes and stuff. So, uh, yeah, over to you, Car Doc. Show us how this works. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to select an, an OBD adapter, a 16 pin adapter there. Okay. Now, cars produced after 1996 will have this uh, type of socket fitted uh, within the vehicle. Now, they're mainly fitted around the centre part of the vehicle on the, on the later vehicles, either in the centre console, somewhere around the radio, or underneath either footwell. Okay, underneath each dash. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw that in there. I'm going to OBD socket. So the OBD there socket there is underneath the uh, steering column. And it's just above the clutch pedal. Just above the clutch pedal. This particular vehicle. Okay, I'm plugged in. Now what I would advise if you are going to spend quite some time looking um, at one of these vehicles or any vehicle, um, if you're going to spend more than sort of 10-15 uh, minutes searching for a particular fault, I would advise you that you do use jump pack on the vehicle because these are very sensitive to uh, voltage. They do use quite a lot uh, of current so as I say if you are going to spend a, a long time looking at these vehicles then I would advise you to use a jump pack. Okay. Okay because it will flatten the battery and the machine won't behave. It'll start becoming very slow and sometimes it won't be able to uh, run the program correctly. Right. Okay, yeah. so there's the menu. Okay, there's a different there's a different manufacturers. I shall go through I shall go through them all. Ford, Nissan, Peugeot, Alpha, Toyota, Mitsubishi, there's a bit Dale on there, Audi, BMW. I'll come back to BMW in a moment. Uh, Kia, Lancia, Mazda, Opel, Porsche, Rover, Seat, Skoda, I believe that's smart. Subaru, Suzuki and Volvo. Okay, so we're going to go... Good selection of uh, manufacturers there, mm. this launch X431. Yeah, what we're going to do is obviously we're going to go and via BMW, being a BMW car. Okay, now, version 35, which is the latest version. Uh, now, this software can diagnose the electrics control systems of BMWs up to 2006, including engine, chassis and body and other parts. Uh, the operation is the same as the original scan tool, Now the scan tool is like a generic uh, code reader. Okay, that's resetting the smart box then to adapt to the BMW. Yeah, basically it's just loading all the BMW um, software. Okay, and uh, this machine um, sort of roughly is about 2,500. 500 pounds in the UK. Uh, it's quite a major manufacturer. And I guess if anyone's interested, CarDoc UK is an authorised approved dealer and we do provide this machine with uh, half a day to a day's training. If anyone's interested in purchasing, please uh, get in contact with CarDoc UK. Okay, now with this particular particular uh, software program, it will cover the 1 series, the 3, the 5, the 6, the 7, the 8, the X series, the Z series, the Mini. And we're also doing uh, coding and programming. Okay, and also, it'll also give you a diagnostic socket location. But obviously, you can use it via a mains lead or via 12 volt feed first. Oh, I see. To get the diagnostic socket location. Yeah, but you have to basically plug it in to yeah. find out where it is, but you wouldn't, you'd know that anyway. Okay, so we're going to go straight into Mini. Mini R50, R53. 
Right, now we've got a breakdown, engine, transmission, ABS airbags, uh, climate control, immobiliser, central body electronics, uh, uh, parking, parking sensors, light switches, steering wheel sensor radios, the onboard computer, uh, roll sensors, tyre pressure controls. Not all these systems are going to be fitted to this particular vehicle. This is just the systems that are available. Yes. If they are fitted, we're able to access them. Click on engine, please wait. Okay, so we've just gone into the engine. Seems. fault code you would uh, double check the fault code number and uh, it would give you a good indication of, uh, of where, where to start to where work. to start looking based on the symptoms and also what the customer is also telling you yeah. how the car's behaving um, which will give you more of a clue don't always say if it does give you a fault code look at the fault code says that not necessarily it may not be that particular component there may be something else that's causing this causing this uh, particular component to run out of parameter. Yeah. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Great, okay, so that's uh, a general run through on the La Launch X431. Uh, you do offer uh, some training on, on this and other products. Um, I guess just in a nutshell, uh, how does the Launch X431 compare to the other diagnostic tools on the market? Um, basic, I mean this piece of kit, it will do some programming, it will um, do some mat what I call matching, where you're matching like a throttle body to an accelerator pedal or even coding keys. It is, as far as I know, one of the best value for money tools. Um, I appreciate it, it's almost half the price of a Snap-on Solus, it will still do as much as if not more than the snap on solars you can also update this um, we update all the information every every month roughly just so we can yeah. keep up with with the later vehicles as as the information is released by the manufacturer so yes I would say it's one of the best value for money tools that we carry okay okay great well thank you very much car doc uk for running through the launch x431 as i said at the uh, earlier if anyone's interested in uh, some training on the launch x431 then please get in touch with uh, www.car-doc.co.uk and we can arrange to uh, run through this with you